Welcome back to Great Day at 9 a.m. It's Food Truck Friday, and what is better than brunch at 9 a.m.? Sean Cummings literally started this business. When was your first day, Sean? Wednesday was my first day open. <laughs> first day open ever. First day open ever. And um, what did you do before that? I was a postmaster in the postal service. For how many years? Almost 25. Oh 25 years. So you're going from delivering mail to delivering food. Yes, basically. We, we absolutely we love basically. you even more now. I and this know. makes me more happy. That, so. Tell us about that, the transition. You were going to wait until you did this as a retirement, but you said, let's do it early. Yeah, I had the opportunity. My wife gave me the blessing. She knew I was unhappy <laughs> in my career and that I always wanted to pursue this culinary thing. So, you know, she gave me the blessing to go ahead and just make the move, you know, which was very scary at the time. But, right. Literally know, moving you know. on a truck. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And you, but you have a, you have a, you, you were trained, right, at a culinary school? Yeah, I went to a Connecticut Center for Arts and Technologies in New Haven. Oh, it's cool. It's a wonderful nonprofit organization that uh, offers free education, has uh, multiple you know, in different fields, phlebotomy, culinary arts. That's it's great. about six and a half months long, the culinary arts program. Then they put you on an externship. I served my externship on another food truck called Beyond the Salt, which I believe you guys had. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Beyond the Salt. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I worked under Chef Samad Mickens. Uh, the folks there at, at Concat, the school, they they make you feel like family. Wonderful, wonderful, you know, experience there. You know, Chef Jenna Martin, you know, amazing instructor, you know, friend right. for life now. Mm -hmm. All right, Can't so why did you decide that. you could have done breakfast, you could have done dinner, but you decided on brunch? Because then I could kind of do whatever I want. Yeah, this is really <laughs> I like, right? like, yeah. like everything could really be lunch. Right, you're you kind know? of straddling, right? right? Different meals. Right, you know, I get to have fun with it. You know, we have a pretty solid base menu that we're rolling with right now. You know, then once we get you know more staffed up and get some momentum going, we'll start having fun with some specials and doing some unique things. Mm -hmm. Now you said you had some soft openings, and these were some of the favorites, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Right. So what do we have here? All right, so that's our French toast with our uh, warm apple topping. <laughs> uh, that's challah bread with a cinnamon, sugar, and sea salt <gasps> dusting oh my with gosh. warm apple dusting. toppings. Uh, we're gonna kind of rotate the the fruit toppings to be seasonal. You know, oh. so during the summer it'll be more strawberry, blueberry related type of thing. Oh my well, goodness. tomorrow's uh, fall, so this is yeah. coming right in time. Yep. This smells unbelievable, it really does. Sean. It's like a Yankee candle right now. It's, it really, it's really, really good. <laughs> Yum. Go ahead, give it a shot. All right. And the other French toast is just our, our plain offering with uh, some pure maple syrup on it. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Sean, keep talking. So. <laughs> oh my mm. word, the salt too makes it. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. Yeah, it changes it. The sea salt. People that is don't so think good. to put salt on French toast, but yeah. it, it kind of changes the whole aspect of it. And where are you going to be this weekend? Uh, Milford Bank in downtown Milford from 9 to 1, uh, right on Broad Street. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Okay, terrific. Um, I might be there Monday and Tuesday as well. Uh, and then next Sunday, I'll be at an event in Westport at the Earth Place Fall Festival. Oh, oh nice. Great. Uh, they're expecting around 2,000 people at that Yeah, that that's yeah. a great event every year. Yeah. So are you happy with the truck decision as opposed to a brick and mortar? Yes. Yeah, because then it gives me the flexibility to move around, you know, you know, and it's just more fun. You know, people see the truck come in, they get excited. Quick, um, what is this? That's my sausage, egg, and cheese. Uh, Yum. And that's my balt. Uh, it's thick cut bacon, avocado smash, lettuce, and tomato. Ooh. Uh, part of our plan here is to do everything fresh, local, or homemade. So, like our breakfast sausage there is uh, fresh ground pork from a local farm, Cedar Hill Farm, and Great. it's our own homemade recipe. I love it. And uh, Bubba, is that a dog? It's my English bulldog, oh. Bubba. Oh. I named it after my dog. It. Yes. That is we so love it. Great. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, and, Sean. And, and how do we find you? Uh, Bubba'sBrunch.com is our website, uh, Bubba's Brunch CT on Instagram, and Bubba's Brunch on Facebook. There okay. you have it. You can eat breakfast all day long, or lunch, or the both. Absolutely. All right.